Hey, what is up, gamers? Gamer Gale here, and welcome back to Life is Strange. Okay, so I'm at the title screen now. We're about to start chapter two, so I'm gonna press continue, and it'll jump us right into it. Right into chapter two. Let's go, baby, I'm ready. And ended, the last chapter ended with some unexpected snow. Oh, I guess we'll see here. A little recap here. It's showing all the events that happened, but it's not actually showing our choices. Oh, poor Case. Warren, you're a th third reel, and I feel bad. And I also feel bad for that. Time skip here. Oh, my controllers are fully rumbling. Okay. Some upbeat music. I'm gonna get down with this. God, I love the soundtrack. How many times am I gonna say that during this freaking playthrough? Dough. Time machine. Ah, uh, we're doing research on it. Our power. one to talk. Episode 2, Out of Time. You, you'd think it'd be the opposite with, with the rewind power. We, you'd, you'd think we'd have all the time in the world. Oh, look at you in your little chicken pajamas. That's adorable. I would totally wear that. I, I vibe with that. Wake up, Maxie! Eggs and... Uh, how, how does the saying go? Like, e eggs and bacon or something like that? I don't know. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey, that's it. <laughs> God. No amount of rewind will keep me clean. I still need a shower. Okay. Blanket, make the bed. Huh. Okay. That's an option. I'm so not a rebel. I always like my bed to be neat and tidy. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Ooh. Whoa, all these- hold- hold on, hold on, all these texts, all these- Alright, maybe at the dining room party I'll be there. I'm gonna be late. Um, wait. What, did we get high in her room? Hold on, let me see these texts. You there, hippie, what about that? I think snow, what about unit power, or have you gone back in time and figured it out? You can't go back that far, smart ass, and I need your help. Like when you told Step Dark it was your week, but for real, if you need to talk, you're, or eat, and ask Buster breakfast at Two Well is my treat. So I'll hold it's good to have minions. Got a bail master. Breakfast is a go. You there, my match, like I said, always for you. No emoji. Meet me at the diner in 40. I'll be there. Do not be late, or I'll know. Time is not on your side. Don't get high like in my room on my way. You are evil 40 minutes or else. Alright. Oh, got a text from Mom. Um, okay. Hey, honey, I hope you didn't. Get to water the plant we gave you, but don't drown it either, mommy. I. Even with all this crazy shit oh. going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. I like no time has passed. Yeah, I did forget to water my plant. Can I not? Can I? Can I? Can I not water right now? Cool. Um. Okay. Uh. Oh wait, no. That plant. This plant. Yeah. Water. Drink up. I can bring you back. I hope the power will relax itself. <laughs> all right. This action will have consequence. Well, 
Will it really? Watering my plant has consequences. Okay, uh, shower supplies. Yes, take. Okay, Max. I want a little shower bag like that, so that's adorable. Except for all my shower spurs are hella big. Uh, open. Uh, don't, shouldn't I take clothes so I don't have to change back into my dirty... No? Alright. Okay, sure. Okay. Which way is the showers? This way, I think. Yeah. Dang, everyone's out. What's up? Oh. Alright. You know what? Let's do that. Let's, yeah. I swear to God, every time we see her, there's an opportunity to save her. Yeah. Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max, if that makes you happy. Bam. Period. Oh, no, that was close. Thank you, Max. Yeah. Yeah. I want to keep doing that. That's a good thing to do. Um. Can I not talk to you? All right. Uh, can't talk to them either. Well, uh, bathroom time over here. Yep, showers. Hey, Kate. How's it going? Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. Yeah. Anytime. That guy has issues. Oh god. He's an ass. Everybody here. <laughs> By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. Yes, sir. Shower time. Scandalous. Oof. Jeez, my control has to rumble at everything? Alright, you know what, I'm just gonna... Was the, the shower thing really necessary? Something going to happen? Oh, yep. What's up, Kate? Ugh. School. That's it. That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Oh no. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my God, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> I'm going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up. And you know he has the good shit. He drugged her. Just like he tried to drug Chloe. Yup, I still got him paint all over my face. Uh -huh. I think my faithful minions took their sweet time bringing me a towel. She didn't take that long to wash it off, just freaking wash it off with a loofah or something. Something scratchy. Now I know if I'm in an accident, I won't rely on you or Courtney for help. You can hang out with Kate. Or Max. Ugh. Meanwhile, I'll be peeking. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. Okay. Trying to make oh, conversation. Hey, I'm so quirky, crap. Anyway, let's leave a link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. Oh, come on. I'm such an evil biatch. I love it. No. How, the, how, how do you have that memorized? How do you have that memorized? What? Well, we're gonna take that down. Wipe that off. Come on, Mion. That's not cool. Oh! I better get dressed and go give back Kate's book. First, let's erase that. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Yeah. Uh, use the sink? I can do that? Alright. Hello? Water? 
sorry. I forgot. What? <laughs> um. Okay. Oh, I guess oh, someone else is taking, taking a shower. Okay, I don't know how that, well, because Rachel is a whore. That's not nice. I guess because uh, uh, the water pressure, the temperature, I don't know how the pipes work. When it correlates to, because apparently, like, if you flush the toilet, then the water gets hot or cold or something like that. But, like, I've done that, and it doesn't. <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay. Yeah. Oh, our thing is all smudged up. I can't do anything about that, though. That's what you get for not locking your door. What the hell? I bet that was Nathan or Victoria. What the hell? All my pictures. Come on, man. I can't get those back. They're Polaroids. All right. Uh, book. There's a book here. Search. Yeah. My desk is a pigsty, but I know it ain't there. Ain't. Papers. And nothing here. Ugh. That? Dude! She just spilled soda on Kate's book. I better fix this fast. Kate needs the book, and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Yeah. Let's, yeah. Boop. Move. Be gone, foul soft drink. I mean, you didn't, you, you, you moved it only a little bit. You're mine. Alright, whatever, okay. Um, am I gonna get, yeah, let's actually get dressed. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week. And he couldn't even wear one. And the hoodie. Oh, yeah, that's a different shirt though. That's not the pink one. Or now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. Yeah. As if I have to worry about being late anymore. I do have all the time in the world now. Yeah. Private number? Keep your smart mouth shut about everything I'm coming for your ass anywhere you sleep. Uh oh, shit. Now I'm getting anonymous threats? It never ends. This has to be from Nathan. But it could be anybody. I better be doubly careful around here, or I could be in serious danger. Erase that one, too. Not already. What, you're not gonna write a piece on it again? Alright. Well, at least it's empty. Hey, you in there? Hey, buddy. How you doing? Uh, hey, Kate. I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? I had no choice. Well, I didn't have a choice. Uh, I hate bullies. I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Yeah. Kate, I actually do care. So... What's the story with you and David? He's a creep, that's why. We saw the files! Total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. They're right. Um, what about the video? Did you party with them? Uh, Those are a lot of assumptions. I'm just gonna ask why. Why does he think that? Because he saw the video. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but... Tell me about the video and... Maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. Nathan drugged you. Uh, why would you go? That's uh, that's awful. Let's be consoling. That's awful. So, how did that happen? It's a long story. I'm still trying to sort it all out. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank one. Uh, are you sure? Not enough to get wasted. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. It was Nathan. 
Nathan Prescott. Yep. Nathan Prescott. Oh shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. Oh shit. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. And I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a cell I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... And? And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises. But I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Yeah. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Matt. You can put my book here and wear my bag. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll get this started again, okay? Don't worry. Uh, book. Yeah. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Hurt you. Definitely hurt you. 100%. Should I go to the police? Uh, shit. Well, the police kind of work for him, I think. So, look for proof. If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys, and they'll use that against you. But I know I was drugged. And that's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. <sighs> that doesn't feel good. Good job, Dr. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. You know what? I'm just gonna test it out and see what going, saying go to the police does. Oh, this is before the book. Well then, why didn't that... skip? Let's see what go to the police does. Yes, you should definitely go to the police, Kate. I totally believe every word you say. Nathan Prescott is truly dangerous. Bless you, Max. I will go to the police, and also Principal Wells. Well... If you as my backup witness, they'll have to take us seriously now. Backup witness? Well, I mean... I believe you in everything, but we're still just spoiled punk students to the cops and faculty. I just think we need to be very careful here. Why? Careful of what? Nothing. Except the Prescotts are a powerful family. I hope this won't backfire on us, that's all. Even though that rich bastard has done some serious bad karma. He'll get it. Okay. You know what? I think this one's better, actually. Time out, Max. You actually told Kate to go to the police and the principal. After getting a scary text threat. Now the police will definitely drag you into this shit. Man, you don't stop caring about yourself! Shut your mouth, Max. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't care what happens to me as long as Kate is okay. Text from Chloe. Max, food, two whales. See you there. Don't hurt your fingers texting. 
Yay, breakfast. No emoji. <laughs> Alright, yep. Breakfast time. Uh, exit. Can I talk to you now? Yes, I can. Hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. Uh, did you see the snow? Did you see the freak snowfall yesterday? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? Uh, I will later? Let's try to not make him a third wheel. Lucky you. I'm sure he'll track you down, Max. I'll see you around. Alright, cool. Um, whoop, wrong way. This way, ooh, open door. Hey, Dana. What's happening, Dana? Everything cool between you and Juliet? Oh, yeah. Thanks again for releasing me from her captivity. By the way, <laughs> the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. Ooh. That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. Uh, I'm not big on cosplay. Don't let life pass you by, Max. So, are you coming to the party or not? Mmm, why not? Parties are fun. Why the fuck not? If I hate it, I can always go back to my room. That's the spirit, Max. After this, you'll be ready for a raid. It does <laughs> sound fun. Now I have to go contemplate my party future. Yeah, let's try and not make uh, a uh, Warren. Let's let's try and make Warren less of a third wheel than he already is. Screw it. Let's go. Let's go to Holland party. I don't know if we actually can go because of that decision, but I don't know. This game has all kinds of twists and turns. Oh, I can move now. Um, okay. I guess I'll just leave. Just move a little faster. Woo, woo, woo! <laughs> oh boy, not again. This is Nathan's file. This is meant to let you know that attempts to slander and blackmail my son will not will be met with many lawyers and legal ramifications. You're not the first student at Blackwell to try this. I hope you're the last student to set of this. A final polite warning. Whatever, man. Hey, Warren! Gets over here? Okay. Fine. What are you doing here? Oh, nothing. I'm waiting for a call. I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. Uh, thank you. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You nice. stood up to a bully, and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? Chloe Price. Just a pirate, did it say? Friend. Chloe Price? We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. <laughs> Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting a cycle on you? I busted him. I bust not gonna lie to him. Yesterday or be mean by saying don't get involved. I'll give you the story later. Principal Wells is taking care of it now, I hope. Well, you're fucking weak. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. No. Let's go ape! <laughs> uh, yes, definitely. Yes, that's exactly what I mean. I love those old-school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. Yeah. Oh, that has consequences. Okay. Go take the bus. Alright, bet. Do I have to walk to the bus station? Talking to Nathan cannot oh boy. Anything. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. Or Nathan having a gun in the bathroom. Yeah, we're just not gonna get involved. Alright, bet.
For a school bus, it's actually pretty clean. Put a little earbuds in. Or headphones. Or, nope, earbuds. Nice. There's a lot of lyric songs in this game. I guess they're all meant to be used for cutscenes and stuff. Look at this, looking out the window. I do that too. When I'm in the car, I just put my earbuds in and just stare. Cause it's, it's weird though, like put, put putting earbuds in and listening to music and looking out the window, or putting music in ma makes looking at the window much more interesting. Just if I were to just stare out at the window, just like without music, I'd get bored instantly, but like putting out, put, putting on music just like hits different, or it makes looking at the window hit different, I don't know. chill song. I could get down with the soundtrack, like, the, the lyric songs, like, actually listening to it on my own time. This is dope. Oh, lighthouse in the background. In, in the distance. I should be able to tell from the, uh, two whales. Um, okay. We're here now. Again. <laughs> when I lay, grab a boots at the dining room, we'll feed you. It's gonna be better. I'll be lucky if you make it by hand. Why aren't you just complaining about how, it's gonna, how, how it's gonna be late and now you're the one running late? Well, I guess we'll sit in the very back. Well, not the very back, just here. A little bit of a save save. Is that closed, Mom? I'm assuming yes. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at two whales after all these years. No, like they still look pretty. Nice save, kid. <laughs> You're still smart. But not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. Well. <laughs> I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man. No matter what Chloe says. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. Very stupid. I'm sorry. Oh, it surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. Hmm. I will be. Promise. Yeah, let's hope I know so. things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone in Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You move forward with your life. I did it after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. We have great memories of him. Oh. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe understands, Chloe's changed. Uh, well, she doesn't really understand because she is all angry all the time. Like you just said, uh, Chloe's changed. Chloe must have changed a lot during that time. Well, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. Damn. Now she's got a rebellion. I had blue hair once. <laughs> I see why. It was a disaster because... The first two times they were green. As much of a hard ass as you think. 
But you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility? I did. I did. And I am sorry. I don't want Chloe in any more trouble. Or me. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie max. And I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. Yeah. A great friend. Yeah. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. Uh, he cares about Kate Marsh? He cares about Kate Marsh? David mentioned her, but I'll stay out of his business. I won't patrol Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner, you know? I saw him arguing with Kate. I thought you might know why. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. And she's not even in school anymore. Woof. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? Ooh, bang an omelet or Belgian waffle? Uh, I don't really like omelets that much, even though I want to, but I don't know. Let's go Belgian waffle. The last good Belgian waffle I had was here when I was 13 years old. So, bring it on. <laughs> now finish your coffee. Will do. Okay, we, we we gonna we gonna drink it or yeah, graffiti. Hmm. Drink. I love the delicious anticipation of breakfast. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time without even actually going back in time without without the rewind. Well, all we can do is drink our coffee. This is like fourth dimensional. Oh, you just said the exact same thing. Keep going back in time. Okay, well, you know what? I'm gonna pause and I'm gonna leave it here. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, we made a decent amount of progress. Do got, got another scene change uh, at the Teal Wheel, so that's pretty nice. We we talked to Kate more. Hopefully, we can get her situation sorted out. Uh, I really hope I'm making the good choices. Um, but, yeah. Well, we'll see how this works out. Hopefully, hopefully, um, you know, things will work out with Kate and, you know, everything else. Um, and, you know what, hopefully we don't get in too much shit from all, from all those private numbers. Um, but, anyway, I'm gonna leave it here. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye!